might not have to pay as much on your property taxes in Quincy for this year. Tonight, Quincy City Council gave a presentation with what you could see and why. And WGEM's Charity Bell is live with details. Charity. Daniel and McKenzie, the city is proposing an estimated rate of about 0.96%. Mayor Mike Trope says this is a rate decrease. The last significant decrease was back in 2002. This proposed rate will be the lowest it's been since before 1979. And Trope says they can make such a proposal because of the surplus and revenue the city is bringing in from personal property taxes, green energy, gambling, equalized assessed value growth, and and pension investments. It's going forward a year or two or three years down the road, we might not be sitting in a situation where we have the ability financially to uh, to do this without having to look at uh, either an increase or a uh, some reduction in government, the size of government, and I'm not going to uh, be voting for an increase for property taxes. We believe we're gonna be able to maintain it closer to that 0 0.95, 0 0.96 level for the next several years. Now, if we had, a COVID-like shutdown that nobody knew about before it happened, that could throw all this stuff off. This is just the second reading of the ordinance, so Alderman took no action tonight. Trope says it will go before council for the third time next week, where Alderman will make their decision on its adoption. Live in Quincy, Charity Bell, WGEM News. All right, thank you so much, Charity. And Trope says once aldermen make their decision on whether they will adopt this ordinance, it will still have to go before the Adams County Board. He says the city does not set the property tax rate, and the county calculates the final rate based on the levy request and an equalized assessed valuation. Meanwhile, the Quincy City Council also discussed and voted on several other items tonight. They approved a resolution to allocate small rental rehab project funds for five projects. Of course, the program aims to develop new or rehab old properties to increase increase housing in the city and then Alderman also gave the green light to the city to apply for more than 1.8 million dollars for motor fuel tax funds under the Illinois Highway Code for next year's street and highway maintenance.